evacuating the villages. The roads are washed out. We're hearing gunfire now. Joe? Emily! <laughs> Emily Darrow was not just a doctor. She was a healer and a credit to the human race. Since Emily's death, you have been working around the clock seven days a week. All right, let's go. You need time off. Dragonfly. These were sort of her personal totem. She even had this small birthmark on her shoulder that kind of looked like one. Now I see him everywhere. I think you're literally going buggy living in that house. Take down the vacancy sign that says Emily's ghost is welcome here and get on with your life without her. He calls my name. I follow him into the ICU where he flatlines. And then his heart started again. He hasn't stopped drawing him since he got out of the ICU yesterday. The lady in the picture, she wants you to go there. Go where, Ben? She's trying to reach me, and she's becoming desperate. Joe, I can't believe you're buying into this. Death is like pregnant. You either are or you aren't. I'm not crazy. Have you personally had any experience with Emily since her death? Of course I haven't. And why haven't you? Because I haven't gone halfway to heaven, and she has no way of reaching me. There are a hundred steps on the ladder of consciousness. If we can create this world with what we imagine, why not the next?